Greetings and salutations, my dear audience. This is Joe St. Egg Benedictus coming at you with a video of a very interesting book find that I have. Um, just want to ask a very quick question, but before I do so, I want to give a shout out to my pal Mike, to all the visionaries and mystics out there. Thank you for joining me. The question I have for you is how did people do calculations before this little doohickey? Or before phones, or before computers, and before those big, big IBM machines that used to do calculations. I'm sure, you know, good old pencil and paper was uh, pretty uh, <clears throat> standard. But think about all the calculations if you're an accountant, or somebody in the math field, or somebody uh, working for a business where you couldn't uh, work things out on paper. Well, I found the solution. It is this little thing, Leary's Ready Reckoner. Form book and wages calculator, Philadelphia, Leary, Stewart & Company Publishers, number 9 South 9th Street, 1906. I uh, picked this up along the way, uh, was going to uh, go bye-bye, and um, you can see the copyright date is 1868 by Leary & Company. I'm sure this particular one might have been printed later. There you go, 1906, if you can see that. Trader, farmer, and mechanics, useful assistant for buying and selling all sorts of commodities in dollars and cents showing at once the amount and value of any number or quantity of goods and services from the quality of a cent to $10 with the coins of all the foreign nations. It only goes up to $10, which I find is hilarious. There's the back cover if you want to read it. And um, basically, it's a, it's a calculator. So here goes. Table of contents. At, w at one quarter of a cent. And then what it does is one quarter of a cent times one is one quarter of a cent, and then one quarter of a cent times two is half, and then it goes all the way down. So if you have a quarter of a cent purchase, say it's 73 units, that's 18 and a half, uh, 18 and one quarter dollars. Man, that's a hoot. So it just keeps going all the way to one cent, two cents, and it just goes all the way up. I find this thing to be really, really amazing. 33 and one third cents or one third of a dollar. So that's a, a little bit of a special there. Let's see where it goes. It's set to $10, so 93 cents or 100 cents or $1. And then, yeah, so it goes up to, I guess if you have multiple dollars, you would calculate the dollars and then go back to the cents. A wages calculator computing amount of wages from $1 per week to $25 per week by hours, half hours and quarter hours. And then you have that for your wages. I think this is pretty neat. Quite a find. Picked it up for uh, for free. Uh, like I said, it was going to go to the waste bin, and I snagged it. Snagged it right out of that waste bin. Um, Belgium, Brazil, Australia. These are tables. America, mills, cents, half cents, half dimes, dollars. It's a monetary unit for the country. I saw drachma here somewhere. Greece. Drachma. And uh, I know it's not a Bible, but... I think it's hilarious and um, really find it to be very interesting. And this um, was really a gift from my wife. So glad that um, glad that it worked out. She loves it, even though she doesn't use it. It's just a keepsake. You know, it's a little it's a little tchotchke. It's a it's a little love gift, if you will. Well, thank you for joining me. I hope that you enjoyed this uh, wonderful little find, a little treasure, and um, that. Uh, you might want to comment and uh, add your own input. <laughs>